Hey ladies, today I'm really excited to share with you my first tutorial for a He Picks My Polish challenge. Um, my fiance was kind enough to pick out three polishes for me uh, and I'm doing a water marble in this look. I'm actually going to do a water marble two ways um, and I'll explain it really quickly and I'll drop a link below so you know what I'm talking about. Um, the first look I'm doing and I'm starting the demonstration now is the more traditional water marble tutorial. Um, it's one of my favorites, obviously. Um, it's the same kind of bullseye. Um, the more layers you have, the more um, ripple effect you get. And the second one I'm going to show you at the end of the video is kind of a throwback to uh, one of the first manicures and water marbles I showed you on my blog, um, I guess two years ago now this fall. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll put a link down below so you can go check out and see what I'm, look, I'm talking about. It is technically a water marble, but it's done in like a half water marble, half dry marble. Like, you know, like the ones where you, whatever, you'll see it later on. Um, so <laughs> regular water marble is what we're starting with. Uh, the blue that you're seeing me use is a Sally Hansen HD, uh, it's called Spectrum, it's number 14. Uh, the yellow is Orly's um, Hookup, it's number 4639, and the purple that you see is by Wet n Wild, and it's number 417F, and that's Eggplant Frost. Um, it's kind of weird, but the polishes he picked out for me, I have a, a pretty strange um, coincidence, if you will, to similarity, whatever you want to call it. Um, to peacock feathers, so I didn't want to over um, manipulate this water marble. I just kind of wanted it to just really capture the colors and just kind of have a light, loose, feathery effect. Um, so that's why I don't have as many um, layers in my bullseye. Obviously, if you wanted um, more layers, um, add more um, drops of polish and, you know, um, you're looking at 10 different rings or so for a, a more clustered look. Um, these particular polishes that he picked for me mm, did not really marble together as well as I'd hoped. Uh, you can see that I have a yellow um, base coat on in the video. I was going to leave them all yellow, but I really, really, really wanted to use that blue mark. So you can see, that's why the pictures, um, you can see it almost looks green because obviously yellow and blue make green. Uh, my fingers dunked in. Uh, I have my tool ready to sweep off the excess polish. My fingers taped. Um, pull it out slowly. And I think it's a pretty successful look. It's exactly what I was going for. Just a loose feathering. Now the other finger. Uh, this one is going to be done in a very similar fashion. The polishes that I'm using are the same. Um, they're just There's just going to be a little bit more polish added. And I'm not going to force it as much like I did the first time um, to spread. Like, if you rewatch the first um, water marble I did, you'll notice that I took um, a skewer and pulled up the, the polishes a little bit more um, to really separate them and open them up. And I don't really do that as much uh, for this particular polish marble um, because you'll see, but I'm going for a different look. It's a different kind of marble look, um, is really what it is. So I'm helping it out a little bit, but not terribly too much. And my goal is to really, really, really get a lot of polish in a small area. So just keep building it up like you would any other, any other water marble. I will say that this type of marble, if you like the effect of it, is potentially a lot easier for beginners and I say that because if you're not sure what polishes marble well together like these aren't really marbling particularly well in my opinion um, then you're gonna have too much polish in one area and that's exactly what this look needs um, the only downside I would say is if you aren't a regular I, I don't know nail art connoisseur or don't have don't have a little bit more of experience, the dry time on this one is a little bit longer than the other one just because. So you can see my finger dunked right in the middle of that big blob of polish. 
And I know some of you are having a small heart attack, but wait for it. It's going to get better, I promise. As per regular water marble, so you're going to let it dry, blow on it, whatever you need to do. Scoop up the top layer. Do not be alarmed when you pull it out and it looks like a hot mess. Remember how much polish went on it. Also, I apologize for the future blurring of my camera. I don't know what my phone was doing, but it is having focusing issues. And I assume it's just because it can't handle all the sparkliness. But anyways, I apologize. So, okay, it looks like a hot mess. I'll give you that. But here's what you're going to do. Get a skewer or a little pointy pokey stick, whatever you have, and start working on cleaning up the cuticle line because that's where the polish kind of pulls off and goes towards. You'll be able to tell where the polish is pulling the most and you can kind of pull and drag out from there and it creates that kind of more natural marbled look. Um, I know there's a lot of tutorials for dry water marbling and it pretty much involves similar techniques. You have a lot of nail polish on your nail and then you take a stick and kind of swirl around. Pretty much the same concept um, except for obviously this is done in the water um, and it, I think it's easier to manipulate more polishes this way. And it gives you a foundation to work on. So you can see I'm cleaning up the cuticle line, pulling the excess from there and slowly pulling out from the middle because that's on this particular nail where um, the bulk of the polish is. And really, it looks pretty cool. Um, any little extra pulls you make, obviously the longer it takes you to do them, um, the more distinct the ridge is gonna be. Um, so act quickly, but it creates a pretty cool look uh, if I do say so myself. I'll replay the pictures at the end of this video so you can see um, how it looks dried and I didn't actually put a top coat on it because there was so much polish on it it really didn't need it um, anyways I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video uh, I know it's a little bit different concept than normal but it is still um, something different uh, if you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate it if you liked and I recommend subscribing because if you like this you're gonna like my other videos um, show me your pictures of how your water marbles have turned out on Facebook I'd love to see them and as always, thanks so much for watching.